Big tech is committing suicide. We've all heard of the censorship that's going on, especially Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Spotify, Apple. These kind of companies that are censoring people the way they are, they are insulting their user base. They censor misinformation as if you, the user, are too stupid to tell the difference between fake and real, between truth and falsehood. Their censorship is an insult to you. They are insulting your intelligence. They censor because people are offended and they don't want to offend somebody. As if we're all a bunch of just little children who just yell and scream and cry at every little thing. They are insulting you, as if you are not emotionally mature enough to handle a little bit of offense. They are insulting your maturity. But many times, their censorship is a great insult to the Christian faith. Think about Twitter, who censored a quote from Mother Teresa. And YouTube is getting increasingly and increasingly Worse. Case in point, I know a guy who posted a video on YouTube about Christian persecution. He posted the facts. He had his video taken down for hate speech. Why? Because he happened to make the mistake of saying who was persecuting Christians. It's a fact, but it's not allowed to be talked about. That is a great insult to every Christian on earth. Think about it like this. Can you imagine a certain minority community that claims that they are persecuted, that they are uh, oppressed and stressed out and bullied. Can you imagine if they post a video on YouTube saying that Christians oppress them or that Christians bully them or Christians say things against them that make them feel offended or whatever? Can you imagine if they're complaining about Christians and their video gets removed because they complain about Christians? Can you imagine that? Another case in point, I know a guy who's a preacher and he spent years, well over a decade, building his channel on YouTube. He had to pull every video down from his channel in order to save his channel. Because apparently just preaching the Bible is considered to be hate speech. The same Bible that's in billions of homes around the world. Over the past 2000 years, the secular evil, Nazi-like communists have tried to censor the Bible, and now they're trying it again. They will not succeed. For those of you who like my content, I wanna draw your attention to the other platforms that I'm on. I'm on BitChute, I'm on Gab, I'm on Parler, I'm on Brighteon. I'm on Library, I'm on Minds. Check the links in the description below and check my blog, ChristopherEnoch.org for more information about those links. So make sure you sign up and follow me there.